Ratnish, how can you relate humans with machines? Yeah. Uh, to answer these questions, first we have to see the, how the human life has changed and how the machine's life has changed. Uh, if we see, I mean, <coughs> uh, the life of a human, <coughs> and uh, I mean, hundred years back, they were more, they, they were living into more closed systems, into their own culture, into their own language, and everything. And same, same kind of environment has changed for the machine also. <coughs> Now, hum now humans are traveling more and more, and they are adaptable, and they learn new things, they change things, and they are m more and more meaningful into different contexts. Why? Because they have learned their level of knowledge, or they have increased their knowledge. And that's why they are able to communicate with other systems, other cultures, other languages. Same is with the machine. Machine was first in the standalone environment, and now with the introduction of networks, their environments are, their environments has also changed. They are logically traveling. They are logically, they are everywhere. So now they have to interact with all part of the system and in a precise, meaningful ba way. So the way the level of the human intelligence has increased, we have to increase the level of computer intelligence so that they can be easily adaptable to the new system and they can do precisely meaningful job as they were doing before. So now the question is to how to provide this. <coughs> now here the semantics world has come because human has improved their level of semantics. In the same way, computer's level of semantics has to be, in, in, to be increased from a simple language, from assembler, to C, to everywhere because they were, these languages were more fixed, less, se less semantics, but now we have to come up with more and more uh, se semantics way of representing things in terms of computer. Computers can, so, and at the end, so the question is why? So why to use the semantics? The then, then the answer will be, <coughs> is like, what kind of job the computers do? Computers ju do jobs on your behalf. And to do jobs in your behalf, you have to provide them understanding of uh, about your data, about the way you work. And now here semantics will play the role. And with time, to make them make this semantics real, we have to understand first the human life of wa human human ways of doing things, how they do in their in their real world, and then we have to think about that and to apply in terms of computers that how they do job. And this relationship is quite important to understand because to me semantics is not only technical but a philosophical world. Thank you.